welcome back to life is strange and we've just come in from investigating david's files and computer in the garage i've tried to leave it as it was so now let's see if we can talk to chloe uh oh nice breakfast david you're back already i have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night what happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Uh, side with David or side with Chloe? Oh gosh, we've got to side with Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe <laughs> you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. <laughs> Screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once. Just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Now, I'm assuming we could go backwards. Um, no, apparently we can't. So our choice has consequences. And we can't rewind, which is an interesting thing. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Oh. Bless. She's such a sweet lady. And yeah, even though I've just made that choice, I still have this really sinking feeling in my stomach that he's actually not the bad guy. But I don't know what. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. So now what? Leave Chloe's house. And then what? Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. 
I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. I have now no- to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Where do we go? Oh no! This is so creepy. Oh, we can't go that way? Dad. Uh... Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't got in touch sooner. I know you're upset, but your mum and I know you do to everything that you could to save that girl. Some things are just out of our control. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been intense here, but I'm not ready to come home. Talk later, Max. Uh, so, XO, I think that was meant to be. Um, I did want to look if there was any more. Oh, yeah, look, we've, we were on 43 and now there's quite a few. Objective, I have to get Frank's key. Okay, but let's read. So cool to stalk the halls when it's dark and quiet, even with so many terrible things happening all around us. It felt like Chloe and I were walking around, uh, walking towards the centre of a great cosmic mystery, something bigger than any of us. But we kind of suck at Master Spy since we didn't have a key for the principal's office. No worries with my rewind power at hand. And of course, Dr. Warren Graham. He came through with a bitching mini made of sodium what the ever i probably learned more about putting those ingredients together than the entire semester so far sorry miss grant but warren is the star student here he tries so hard to help maybe too much but what's wrong with that these days i'm just so grateful he's on my team talk about being in the sancto sanctorum thanks latin class i barely passed of blackwell i did feel freaking weird about being in the principal's office after midnight going through his files and laptop with cory she was way too into but technically we could be arrested and thrown in jail yikes i just pretended that we were on a very special episode of the wizards of waverly place i have no idea what that is you know just a couple of wacky sherlocks investigating the school for a good cause yeah that helped we didn't find the proof we found nathan's file had a weird drawing in it that just said rachel in a dark room over and over so that's a major clue that Nathan is involved somehow. I think it's a major clue that Nathan is wacko or that he's just insane. Yeah, exactly. But his notes also references David M, which means that we absolutely have to find a way into David's secret bunker files for a good cause. But Chloe just can't help herself. And she actually wanted to take five grand in cash marked for the handicap fund because that's got to be legit. Am I right? I can't think of a faster route to karma hell, but it would have paid off Chloe's debt to Frank. I stopped her, but it kind of bothers me that Chloe can be so selfish like that. I'm not going to let anything happen to her, but I can't just let her do anything she wants. Mad Max? More like Mommy Max. Despite all the usual breaking and blowing up office hijinks, Chloe decided that what we needed more than anything was to take a night swim in the otter's lair. I was so giddy and rebellious that I was like, oh yeah, we shall swim. We didn't completely skinny tip, but chose, but close enough to get in big trouble no matter what. I don't know why we were so careless after being so careful. I love that Chloe brings out the just don't give a bleep side of me even if that hasn't always served her well. She did deserved a moment of not giving a bleep. Me too. Just two friends goofing around in a pool. I fear those youthful shenanigans might soon be a thing of our past. God, I'm sounding so sound. Oh, God, I'm starting to sound like one of the teachers at Blackwell. Chloe and I had a nice chat about our life since I left. We talked about dumb boys and girls and why they're trouble, especially for me. I feel like a groupie when I talk to Chloe about her life experience. She has me so beat. I take pictures, she takes action. No, she's an absolute bad influence on you. But anyway, ser speaking of action, we had to seriously bounce when the security showed up. Duh, how quiet could we be in the swimming pool? Plus, after leaving a trail of our Blackwell handiwork. 
It was so intense and exciting to get past the security guards. They had serious spotlight power, so it wasn't exactly easy to stealth our way past, especially as we had to bail in Chloe's junker. But like I said, intense and exciting. Hella like Chloe Price. <laughs> Even though my body smelled like I'd been doused in chlorine, it was so nice to crash in Chloe's room for the first time in five years and wake up next to her like our old sleepovers. For some reason, it reminded me of the time when we were going to TP... What the heck's that? One of the neighbour's houses. And we even snuck out but got chicken and rang back home, laughing all the way. I remember waking up the next day and Joyce was making one of her delish breakfasts downstairs and Chloe smiled at me like we were in the most secret club in the world, or at least Arcadia Bay. We were pirates, damn it. After our academic espionage last night, it felt the same way. It's just that now the stakes are much higher and much more dangerous. I even ended up in some of Rachel Amber's clothes, since mine were trashed. A band tee and a ripped jeans not me but i haven't found my style yet so why not have some fun experimenting with a new outfit speaking of experiments chloe dared me to kiss her so i did she probably thought i'd wuss out why it wasn't that big a deal though it was cute the way she was kind of embarrassed afterwards and said she'd tell warren besides i think she sees chloe sees rachel amma in her future when I went down to breakfast, Joyce was actually actually called me Rachel, which just seems so wrong considering how beautiful she is and how boring I am. I guess my new outfit really is working. It's magic. I ended up helping Joyce make breakfast, just like when I was a kid on a sleepover. It's odd how quickly you can fall back into an old routine. So I must have set off Joyce's nostalgia most since she busted out ye oldie photo album. I'm one of the few people who loves checking out old pictures. What was it that Fr Alfred Hitchcock line? Uh, what was that Alfred Hitchcock line about a film being pieces of time? Like Mr. Jefferson said, so are photographs. I do think she wanted me to see her new husband in a better light. When David was happy or laughing with Joyce in a picture, I just wanted to say, who is that? Plus, I'm sure it's no accident that there was a photo of Rachel wearing the exact same clothes I had on. She was truly stunning and somehow looked more punk rock than Chloe. The truly heartbreaking image was the last photo William Price ever took. Chloe and I making pancakes in the kitchen. Joy really misses that joyful, optimistic girl. I know she's still there. When Chloe smiled at me this morning, I saw her. The picture seemed to sum up everything we had as children and had lost as adults, whatever adult means. Which is a perfect cue for Chloe to bounce into the room and start bleep with Joyce. This gave me crawl cover so I could sneak into the garage and finally unlock David Madston's extreme files so today I finally found out what was in David's secret files and I admit it I expected it to be worse I'm relieved that it wasn't so maybe I'm going to be going easier on him oops <laughs> than I should no surprise that he detailed files he had detailed files on Kate and Rachel listing their whereabouts along with surveillance pics. David isn't off my bleat list yet, but he's damn good investigator. I'll give him that. It's clear that Frank and Rachel had some kind of relationship and I don't think Chloe is going to be happy to hear that. She start, needs to start waking up. We all do. When David came home, things escalated quickly. He looked more upset than usual, but shrugged when he saw me wearing Rachel's clothes. He was so on edge. Maybe I'll never get to see the David that Joyce loves so much. She and Chloe really let him have it, though. This was the first time I saw them bond since we were kids. Suddenly, I couldn't take it anymore either, and I kind of blew up. It was like a torrent that felt awesome. I've been wanting to rip into David like that myself for a long time, and I figured worst-case scenario, hello, rewind power. Yeah, it didn't work, though, did it? But I wanted Joyce to know the depth of this of his weird paranoia she looked so sad and angry when i told her about the photos of rachel and kate not to mention the home surveillance joyce kicked his ass out of the house much to chloe's glee okay we are up to date although there's some pictures apparently oh there's people as well which i don't think i've looked at all of these characters but anyway um look uh, we've got here pictures so we've missed a few again but 
we've probably got more this time than last time. Look at that, we didn't really go very well. Okay, I, apparently we were supposed to be, I thought we were supposed to be able to take a, a picture of that darn bird. Anyway, let's Good speak morning. to this fisherman. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, the tornado? <laughs> Don't even say it, mate. It's not funny. Uh, I hope not. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Okay. I'm assuming we... Go in here and try and nick his keys somehow. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, never mind me, officer. I'm just. Oh, yeah, we'll just look. Uh, okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. I had to fight off a dozen bullies for them, though. Freaking nerds. It's here to steal a drug dealer's keys. No, not him, not her. Oh, there he is. Nathan. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Where is Frank for crying out? Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Really? Are you sure? Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Okay. I guess he's up here. Not him. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Spill that. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? Yeah. I was eating those beans. Oops. <laughs> oh, heck. She's doing that all by herself. Okay. I guess that's not the right option. Okay. What about speak to Frank? She's getting a bit you ballsy. Have serious balls, little girl. Oh. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. What's that mean? I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. I guess that wasn't the right answer either. Okay. Where is his keys then? How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Uh, next? Oh, Nathan Prescott. We've got I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. 
I better finish my breakfast first. Okay, that was interesting information. Can we go backwards and ask him something else? How you doing, Maxine? All right, skip. Thanks, Officer Barry. Skip. I'm glad you're... Skip. Okay, let's do a bit next again, because I don't think there was anything else. No, there wasn't. Prescott deal. Okay, let's interest... Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody You else can use this key call. information with either Frank, Nathan, or Officer Berry. I don't get that. I wanna... I want to ask him about some of the other stuff, though. How you doing, Maxine? Uh, skip. Thanks. Skip. I'm skip. glad you represent... Skip. Okay, so there was... Uh, let's have a look at what else is on there now. Prescott deal. So we won't we won't do that. We'll go back. Uh, let's do Kate Marsh. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. Awful. David Madsen. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. <laughs> okay, let's go back. We've got information, haven't we? Let's see if we can get anything extra on this. How you doing, Max? Skip. Thanks. Skip. I'm Skip. Okay. Weird town. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Uh, I think we've got everything here. Let's go and talk to Nathan. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Okay, let's uh, go to the next one just to see. Oh yeah, I think we should talk about the cops. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Okay, I'll speak. Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. Okay. Oh, we can't go back? Now we can. I really pissed him off. I need to go back. I'm really not sure what we're trying to aim for here, to be honest, but let's stop here and speak. We've Rachel. got uh, we've got the info, so uh let's do next and just see. Oh, blood oath, yeah, that would be interesting. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Oh, interesting. Let's go back again. We're getting a lot of information. I just hope we don't kill Max in the process. Rachel. Uh, okay, do next again. Okay, Rachel and Frank. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Okay, interesting. 
back again and we're getting a lot of info at the moment uh, let's try again Rachel Spit, skip next okay previous let's see uh, your father your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me you don't know shit about my father or me nobody here does then tell me what I should know why so you can pretend to care hmm spoiler alert he's an asshole maybe I could help you I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business understand now get out of my face Okay, back we go again. Okay, speak. Rachel. Uh, uh, Kate Marsh. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You were so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? <laughs> Thought Calm you were. down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Back we go again. I don't know if we're meant to be keep going back, but it seems to be working. Yeah. Kate Marsh, your father. Drugs for sales. The only Listen, one left. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Huh, interesting. Thank you for that. Did you, um, anything else to say to What can I do for you, Max? Ooh, let's have a look. Prescott deal, no. Did we speak to her about Rachel and Frank? I can't remember. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? That's interesting again, isn't it? Uh... Speak. What the fuck now? Uh, David is after the gun. Chloe's debt. Saved dogs. Next. What else? Buy drugs. Rachel's photo. Let's ask him about that. You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know. Uh -huh. wait, wait, let me let me find it. Here. Keys. Judge for yourself. <gasps> keys, keys, keys. Take. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. No, I didn't. Give me back my keys, bitch. Can Give I Give me my keys now. Can we rewind? He brought. Now back to Chloe. Yay! <laughs> that was good. Although, hang on, wasn't there something else I wanted to ask him? Let's speak. My work here is done here, Frank. Oh, okay. Apparently not. Oh, look who it is. Let's go talk to her. Alyssa. I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Oh, let's help her with that. Hold on. Can we rewind? 
Okay. Right now. Quick. Oh, okay. Are you shitting me? We need to do this here. Oh, one. Okay. Okay. Alyssa, watch out. Quit thinking, Max. Now let's talk to her because maybe. Oh, that was close, Alyssa. That's the second time you've saved me, Max. Thanks. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. I saw you try and save my friend Gate on that roof. The only one who did. While people took camera pics. Uh, Kate was too scared. Kate was my friend. I tried. Kate was my Kate friend. Kate was my friend too. I would have done anything to save her. Everybody saw that. I'm proud of you for being so brave. You're pretty cool, Max. That's not how I feel today, but thanks. We need to hang out more. Yeah, I Take like some you. some wine. I have to go, but let's talk later, cool? Yeah, cool. I like you. You're a nice girl. <laughs> God, do I sound old. <laughs> oh, here's Chloe, the trouble. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set, throw! Uh, throw towards the road, throw towards the parking lot. To the parking lot, we don't want to kill the damn dog. Tree, tree, boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Okay, so in we go, I guess. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. I need a hazmat Frank suit. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. I definitely need a hazmat suit. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast a bit? She's like really beyond? not getting the urgency of this, is she? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. Come on, you're and in. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues exactly. about Rachel. Exactly. Get your ass in gear. I know. Just daydreaming. Yeah, well, don't. I'm not in control yet. Anybody? Come on. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's have a look about this. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Frank is almost... That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. I think that was about to say a bit more. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Mm, no, she wasn't. Bottle. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. I think the doggy likes his bone more. What's that? Pompadou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. What's that baseball bat? I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Oh, definitely want a hazmat suit. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Oh God. How can somebody live like this? Yeah, I'm just wanting to puke right now. Oh, uh, I missed all this stuff. Okay. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> nice rig. Damn. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <sighs> Recycle, dude. He does recycle. In his van, it's the whole... Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. 
Ooh, Frank's stash. Okay, the knife. Would the knife do it? Take. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Wow. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Read. Frankie B, I hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you and poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird bleep going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here and I smile when I think of us together. Let's drive out of here forever. Love you always. Heart R.A. Ooh. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looked, Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you would never chill out. I've never seen you act that way and next time will be the last. I'm a Leo and we don't look back. I care about you and us, so maybe we need a break to break our routine. XORA. Whoa. Do we need to um, rewind that to put the th that back? There we go. I didn't want to do that actually, but anyway, that'll do. I just thought that I ought to close the vent because that's kind of not a I good idea. Believe. No more secrets. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Blowtorch? Is Frank going to deal online now? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. I actually don't know what she's talking about right now. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Oh no! the dog was gonna get run over then okay well I actually think this is a really good point to say cheerio for today um, I will see you again next time I'm gonna shut her up because she's talking anyway I was saying it's a good time to say cheerio for today I will hope that you have enjoyed this installment and i hope that you will join me next time thanks so much for watching and i will see you again soon bye for now